Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. This is my Glock 26. I like this handgun. I've referred to it as one of my favorite Glocks, but what I don't care for are the Glock sights. And for a carry gun, I think that night sights should be installed. So I'm going to do that today. And I've decided to go with XS DXT2 night sights. It's got that big dot in the front and the night sight in the back that's just a line. And then in the kit, it also includes Loctite as well as a front sight removing tool. And I also acquired XS inline sight pusher. It's a kit made for Glocks to push out that rear sight. I can't show you all the processes on video, but I'll do my best to remain clear in line with the YouTube guidelines. So let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is remove that bolt right there that connects the, the front sight. I'm going to use this tool that was included in the excess case. Before I go any further, I'm going to take that front screw and I'm going to degrease it, if you will, by using an alcohol wipe just because there may be some lubrication on there and that could cause the front sight to walk out over time. So I'm going to do this first, let it air dry, and then apply some Loctite. I now applied the Loctite onto the screw. I'm going to hold my finger down and then screw this into the front post. And right there, the front sight is installed. The reason I went with the blue Loctite opposed to the red Loctite is because if for some chance, this happens to walk out on me. I'm not expecting it to, but if it does, I'll be able to remove it much easier with blue Loctite opposed to the red Loctite, which requires heat to, to loosen it up. It's, it's a much stronger bond. Uh, I'm just going with the blue. I think that'll be fine, and I've had good luck with blue Loctite in the past. I'm now going to use the excess inline sight pusher made specifically for Glocks to push out this rear sight. By doing that, I'm going to place the slide and align it properly with that right there and then rotate this lever to push that rear sight out. I'll now install the rear sight. You may notice that this just slides into place. But in the case also includes this wrench. This is tension held by a couple screws in the back. You're going to tighten that up on the bottom of the slide there. Once you get that set where you want it, you tighten it up and that should hold nice and sturdy. Well, that was incredibly easy and this is what you're looking at. When you align these sights, you want to put that dot above, that front dot above that line in the rear. And if you do that, sometimes you hear People refer to that as pumpkin on a post or something like that. But you don't you don't want to line it up like you would with three dots. You want that that dot above the line, like right where it's touching the bottom of the site, and that should work out pretty well at the range. And that's what we're going to check out now. So let's head out to the range. Excess big dot sites. Let's see how it goes. nice that big sight jumps out at you but the key is to put that rear line right underneath the big dot and just use that that dot it just it jumps out at you you can see it it's big just put that thing on target and it's real easy shooting so there it is excess big dot sights Good improvement for the Glock 26 or any Glock that you want, or any handgun I should say, that you want a large front night sight, easy install. I'm happy with this G26 improvement. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.